The next invoice uh, is an invoice without purchase order. So we have the same process uh, which we started with scanning, put uh, put the label on the on the first page, scan the, the invoices, uh, then the automatic invoice processing with the scan server, read outing the, the content, compare with SAP and start the workflows. So in this case, we have the possibility to suggest some cost center, for example, or to add some information in which direction these invoice has to go. This is from the doc type, it's the vendor invoice. And now we open the invoice. So we identify the company code once again, we get the invoice, uh, the, the vendor number of course. We, we see that this is a vendor invoice because we have no information about any purchase order in this case. And uh, this is interesting if we switch over to the second bar. So we have the possibility to speed up the process with additional tables inside the SAP system. For example, if we get an, uh, get an invoice from, these, from this vendor, then we can uh, make a suggestion in the table to um, identify some uh, cost center for the accounting information. This is a suggestion. You can add information, you can delete information, you can add account information, any, anything you want to do, or you can add a purchase order, you can delete purchase order. This is also very important. Inside the process, you can change the kind of invoices. You can switch over with a process with a purchase order to a process without purchase order. And um, so in our case, we, we put the suggestion and uh, now we can write some comments once again and transfer these information to the next agent. In our case, we have a three-step process. For example, we get the accounting release that I'm responsible for. And so I do my digital signing in this, in this case. And now we have the possibility to send uh, these information to the next agent. Uh, I want to show you uh, a specific uh, realization from the Inpuncto for an offline user. In this case, we choose for the next step, we choose an offline user. This is an external one. And in the invoice cockpit, we get the information where the, where the actual uh, workflow status is. For example, in this case, I send it to an offline user. This is important, for example, because if we have invoices without purchase order, then the concrete workflow is not uh, in detail uh, in the system. So you can say, we want to inform somebody, we need somebody, we have to add somebody, we need a sign for a specific sign. And so we are very flexible in this case. And one possibility we have also to include uh, some offline users uh, for signing to get some information to write a comment or something like this. And so in this case, you see that the last agent was the SAP user, Marcia, and the actual, the current agent is an external one and I switch over to the external one, the external user gets the information uh, via email, and this is the, the attachment. This is uh, the content from the SAP workflow container, for example, and with a double click, he opens the document control, but in this case, in an on offline modus. This has no connection uh, with the SAP system, it's very important. It's also no SAP technology, <laughs> it's Microsoft technology. But in this case, uh, the, the document control opens in the um, comments view, so you can see all the comments, automatically co uh, comments from the system, or private comments in this case from, from the uh, last agent, and we fulfill the information in this case, so we can change, for example, some accounting uh, positions. In this case, I want to uh, delete it. Um, if, and, and to change it to this case, I have the possibility to change some invoice items in this case. But the control of this mechanism is from the accounting uh, group, for example. They have the possibility to define the rights um, for the external user, what they can do. The, the right to change cost information, accounting information, for example, to change uh, some com uh, to write some comments, sorry, or uh, to do them uh, signing information. Um, 
The accounting group has the authority to define the rights of the external user. In this case, I'm a very mighty external user, so I can change these invoice positions. And the next step will be that I write a comment for the, the SAP user. Everything is okay. It's okay. Oh, whoop. And uh, I set my uh, information, my signing, my digital sign in this case, and send it back to an SAP user. <laughs> Done. You see the information message, which is pop up here. This is also very important. If you are an external user, then you want to be ensured that your information has been transferred to the SAP system. So if you send the, 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 the message, if you send the email back to the SAP system, then we include um, the, the mechanism that the email is arrived, the content is analyzed, the content is correct to the SAP content and environment and so on, and give a feedback to the external user that everything in this process has been done. But we change back to the SAP user, we refresh the information, now we see the last agent was the external one, the current agent is once again, this is uh, the user Martial, and now we fulfill the information and post also these invoices uh, with another transaction, for example. Um, so we get all the approval steps, and this is very important that you can include every logic inside the, the workflow approval steps. Uh, you can separate the information, you can include cost center, you, the responsible person, but if they had no uh, sufficient finance competence, then the next agent is addressed and so on. It's very, it's very complex, but it's very easy to use. Now we see the transaction. In this case, it's the FB60, and we post the invoice, and we want to have a look on the workflow protocol which have more information about the process, of course, because we send the information to an external one and so on. Let's have a look on this. This is the, the SAP object, and you know it. Meanwhile, that we have the attachment list, for example, and we switch over directly to the workflow protocol, to the specific part, to the specific workflow step where the external user changes the, the items. Have a look on this. This was the previous allocation data uh, with the one position of the, the invoice items uh, here with the, the cost center number 3200, for example, and then two with 1000. And then the next step is change allocation data. And But the second position is also posted in the direction 3200. Uh, Once again, incoming information. Then we change the information, then we have here in, in detail the concrete step what the external user has been done. Now the process has finished. We have our uh, SAP object, we have the information, we have the, the scanned documents. And uh, one thing I want to show you in this case, if you can add very easily some information to the, to the SAP object. In this case, we have also an integration from the scanning tool the business scanner in place into, into the sub, uh, sub GUI, so we easily scan information additionally to the to the invoice. For example, we have some, some information over there, put it into the scanner. This is the business scanner inside the, the SAP GUI, scan the information, and uh, the business scanner transferred the image to the archiving system via HTTP, and now we have three entries at least which are linked to the SAP object. We save the scan and uh, the information you will find over here in the attachment list and now we have three entries. This was the last thing we scan directly to the object data, for example.